from helping douse a fire on a Marshall Islands flagged tanker that was struck by a missile fired by Houthi rebels to rescuing vessels hijacked by pirates. Indian Navy warships have been providing security to merchant ships in the Arabian Sea. India has not joined the US-led task force for the Red Sea that is launching strikes against Iran-backed Houthi rebels whose missile and drone attacks on commercial ships have disrupted global trade. But since December, India has deployed about 10 warships that include guided missile cruisers as well as surveillance aircraft to police waters east of the Red Sea. I think the scale is quite unprecedented and I think uh, in some ways this represents uh, a, a confidence that Indian Navy has in its own abilities. Uh, and I think the requirement uh, to be seen as a, as a benevolent uh, regional player that is not simply looking after its own interests but also the interests of the global common. The Navy has helped at least two ships struck by missiles and drones according to Indian officials. But amid a resurgence in piracy, much of its focus has been on conducting anti-piracy patrols. Last week, it helped rescue two Iranian-flagged fishing vessels hijacked by pirates and released their crew members taken as hostages. Commissioning a hydrographic survey ship, Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said the naval forces aim to protect both trade and regional security. Our Navy has become so strong that we have become the first responder in terms of security in the Indian Ocean and Indian Pacific region. I say that with confidence. While border disputes with China and Pakistan in the Himalayas had long kept India's focus on the army, the country has also built up its naval prowess in recent decades, acquiring more advanced ships, submarines and aircraft. We are uh, one of the biggest force here and uh, we know that uh, the world's trade is moving through these routes and we uh, normally you know, go with the freedom of seas, freedom of navigation. That is why this deployment has happened, to scan the area, sanitize the area. Projecting power in the Indian Ocean, which India calls its backyard, signals the country's aspirations to be counted as a responsible emerging power. Increasingly, that, is, that seems to be the answer that India is providing. That look, we are willing to work with the world towards collective ends. We don't, uh, you know, we are not a, uh, um, you know, we don't want to. We are not a disruptor to the global order, regional order. We want to be uh, a player, a uh, responsible stakeholder. So naturally, if there is a crisis happening around your periphery, India has to step up to the plate and make its own contribution. Indian officials hope their deployment will prevent the threats to merchant vessels spilling beyond the Red Sea. Anjana Pasricha, VOA News, New Delhi.